Good morning. Paul here down by Lake Macquarie again. And I'm bringing you a, a meditation this morning out of Philippians chapter 4 from the Passion Translation. And it's about living in harmony with one another. And of course everybody has some conflict with a neighbour or a friend or even a sister or a brother in the church. We can, we can fall out over simple things. The devil loves to get in and separate us and cause division. But here's Paul encouraging people to, to be reconciled. So from verse 1, My dear and precious friends whom I deeply love, you have truly become my glorious joy and crown of reward. Now arise in the fullness of your union with our Lord, and I plead with Eudia and Syntyche to settle their disagreement and be restored with one mind in the Lord. That's powerful stuff. I would like my dear friend and burden bearer to help resolve this issue. For both women have diligently laboured with me for the prize and helped in spreading the revelation of the gospel along with Clement and the rest of my co-workers. All of their names are written in the book of life. Be cheerful with joyous celebration in every season of life. Let joy overflow, for you are united with the anointed one. Let gentleness be seen in every relationship, for our Lord is ever near. Don't be pulled in different directions or worried about a thing. Be saturated in prayer throughout each day, offering your faith-filled requests before God with overflowing gratitude. Tell him every detail of your life. Then God's wonderful peace that transcends human understanding will make the answers known to you through Jesus Christ. How, how fabulous is that? The peace that is transcending human understanding. Wow. You're lifted to another plane, to another level. So keep your thoughts continually fixed on all that is authentic and real and honourable and admirable, beautiful and respectful, pure and holy, merciful and kind. And fasten your thoughts on every glorious work of God, praising him always. Follow the example of all that we have imparted to you and the God of peace will be with you in all things. Wow. We do need that God of peace with us in all things. Otherwise we're going to live a troubled life and we're going to be in torment and we're going to be confused and doing the wrong things and making rash decisions. If you're looking for peace, get into the Word of God. Let the Word of God get into you and go forward and tell others what God has done for you. See you later. You have a great day. Bye now.